I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. You can't do this! My men are still inside! Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? I think he's dead already. Let's do it. Before. There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla. V for Valkyr. V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Like everything else in the Valkyr case, the door code was a mystery to me. when he died. The half-life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665, the neighbor of the beast.
performance has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Hey! In here! Hey! Get me out of here! I'm in this... There! Let me out! Get me out of here! I'm innocent! There! Let me out! Thanks! I thought I was gonna die in there for sure. I need you to get me through the decontamination chamber airlock. You're crazy! No way! The place is blowing up for Christ's sakes! Either that or back to the cell. Your choice. Okay! Okay! I'll do it! I'll do it! get to work. After this, you can go. You're a free man. Decontamination in progress. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence is caught in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyr case. One of the lab terminals had the project logo on the screen. Top Secret. Project Valhalla. U.S. Army. Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla. The otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever, their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Valkyr, the maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991, the research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995, results unsatisfactory. Project canceled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. The dagger-heeled woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy.
piece together a jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle. A mad, green-eyed killer standing behind you. An urban legend come true. The Project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones. The rest was simple body count math. It all pointed to her. Ms. Valkyr. The factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me. All my leads were dead, turned to smoke and dust. I had lost my way. I hadn't slept in a million years. I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else. Any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night. On the streets of that other city. Noir York City. I was in an all-night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxie, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through, come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the choir communications garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match, all way beyond a cop's pay. Maxie. Oozing suave charm, he was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that, have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge, you have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe-taking bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. Bad cop on the take, a cowardly right-hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. and it was a pleasure meeting you guys at uh, E3 and uh, we hope that uh, this is everything you need and uh, we're there for you and we can't wait to see it come out. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Not of ladies, are you, Trebek? We'll take famous titties for 200. Okay, and take it easy. Game. 
Sawyer at the Punchinello Manor in Westchester. The manor is the home of Angelo Punchinello, the alleged head of the Punchinello crime family. The police are now saying, contrary to their earlier statements, that Max Payne is still alive and at large. He continues his vendetta against the Mafia, of which this last act of arson is attributed to. I had no recollection of setting any fires, but I did remember the flames.
payphone started to ring.